So I'm Sergey. I'm from Percona, and uh, I'm a group product manager here. What I do on my day-to-day -day job is mostly I work on our Kubernetes operators at Percona. And um, as you might know, we have multiple operators for Postgres, for Mongo, for MySQL. And uh, recently we announced and uh, released an alpha version of a new operator for MySQL. And it's kind of surprising and I would love to quickly go through in 10 minutes on why did we do that? <clears throat> so the full story is here on your screen. So um, Percona operator for MySQL is already there. We, we have it. And on the next slide, I'll go through it. What can it do and what other operators can do? And yeah, there are other operators for MySQL and they're pretty feature rich. Some of them are production ready. And everyone knows that running databases on Kubernetes, the previous speaker told that, is uh, not an easy thing. You need to always think about security, about provisioning databases, about managing them, and so on. And I can tell you more that running MySQL on Kubernetes is not fun at all. Because with uh, MySQL, it's an old technology. It's not cloud-native ready or anything like that. And you need to implement a lot of workarounds to make it production ready to support it uh, with your operator, especially when you talk about day two operations, like if you want to scale up, to scale down, take a backup, and so on. So this slide would help us understand what is in the background of our decision of why we decided to create another operator. So. First off, there are multiple operators, as I said before. One of them is Oracle MySQL. And if we look into this operator, Oracle MySQL operator has a long history. They had the first attempt to create their first operator a long time ago, and uh, it was never production ready. And uh, someone used it in production, I know of, but they never claimed they, okay, use it in prod. No, they were saying it's better. And then they dropped it for some reason. They decided they are not going to continue working on it. And uh, a year ago, they announced the new MySQL operator uh, on, basically they did it on Percona Live as well. And, uh, uh, but it was kind of weird because they stated, okay, it's also not production ready. It's going to be in beta and it supports only MySQL version eight. It works only with group replication and we don't have any features for that. And that's it. And then after a few months of silence, they said, okay, we're dropping this operator and we're starting the new operator for MySQL. It's the third one. And actually its state is exactly the same. It's also not production ready. It's early stage, no backups. Um, I, I really love what they did from architecture perspective. I looked through it briefly but it's still not production ready. And uh, I don't know if they even have any plans to make it production ready and viable option. The next com competitor I would say there is Press Labs. It's a well-known operator from a company which is doing a um, WordPress hosting. They developed it in-house and it was used for their hosting for in-production. But at the same time, if you look into the GitHub link, uh, there on the slide, you would see that they still say that it is not production ready. It's a better version and they do not recommend to use it in prod. But again, I know lots of companies who use this operator. It's pretty good. Um, uh, sadly enough, it supports only version 5.7 of MySQL. Uh, it has uh, asynchronous replication, which probably is not so bad if it can fit some use case that you have. And it's pretty feature rich. They have lots of good functionality. And uh, recently you see they changed the name to Beatspoke because they kind of split it press labs into two companies. And one is focused on operator. I'm not sure what kind of future this operator is going to have, but uh, I know it has huge community and I really love it. So I do recommend this one. Another one is Vitas. I think everyone heard about Vitas operator or PlanetScale, the company behind it. They are building 
uh, sharded MySQL clusters. And uh, you see on the prod ready, I'm saying yes and no. The reason why there is a yes is that I know there are lots of companies using it in production and I know planet scale, they have their own cloud offering and they use the operator as a background, as a backend to provision databases. But no here is for the fact that they do not provide support currently for the customers who are not on the cloud. So you, you are not going to get any support from them. And uh, I know community is heavily working on it. So probably you can use it in production, but would you get any support from the community or from planet scale? I'm not so sure. So it's, it's tricky a bit. On MySQL versions, they support both 5.7.8.0. They have replication, which I think primarily they use uh, asynchronous and they have some obviously mumbo jumbo around sharding there for MySQL. Uh, and for feature rich, they have lots of functionality. Definitely it's super feature rich and they have um, also sharding, obviously. I don't know if anyone used here BTS, but it's pretty good. Another one is Moco. Uh, yeah, I, I, for the ones who are, I think, in Spain, it sounds pretty good. So uh, is it prod ready? No, this operator was developed by a company in Japan and they developed it for the internal use and they are claiming, hey, don't use it in prod. We just did it for ourselves. Uh, but it, surprisingly, it's pretty feature rich. It has good structure, good architecture. Weirdly, the choice they made is they're using GTID semi-sync replication and only MySQL 8. Uh, I'm not sure why they chose semi-sync because uh, it does not provide you the data consistency that you should look for or you're looking for. And especially in Kubernetes world, it's kind of tricky. Another one is KubeDB. Um, I don't know if you're, I, I think everyone heard about the company Apps Code and they have this product KubeDB, which is a Swiss army knife of databases. The, this is a production ready operator. They do provide support for it. They have pretty big community. They support 5.7 and 8.0 MySQL versions. They support group replication, PXC, Procon Extra DB cluster. Uh, they support asynchronous replication. But the only, I believe, downside of it is this: it, it is open core. So they have very limited functionality that you can use for free and uh, they can sell you licenses and uh, you can, I, I think they do not allow you to take your backups for your database with the operator itself uh, without the license. So it's kind of open core-ish model, uh, not open source friendly. And the last one here is Percona. The current operator, which we have, is based on Percona Extra DB cluster. We support both 5.7 and 8.0. We have customers using it in production, and we have a huge community around it. And it's pretty feature rich. And uh, we're also kind of super open source around it. So looking at this uh, table here, we see that there is still a gap specifically for production ready and open source operators, which have asynchronous replication and group replication. And our goal for our operator is uh, to provide various replication options for users and customers. Uh, and this replication op options, they should be available through the operator, which is completely open source, which has huge community behind it and also has an official support from a company 